Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. There are gingerbread houses and Christmas trees all over Walt Disney World, and we took a tour of them. And we have some more restaurant and lounge reviews this week. Plus, we have news and more on episode 168 of the Mickey File Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of the Mickey File Podcast. I'm Scott, and with me is my lovely wife, Karen. Hello, everybody. So due to some technical difficulties. Take two. <laughs> thanks, Zoom. <laughs> We're recording Thanksgiving morning. Yes. See if I can get this out before we go to dinner and go to Disney World. Uh-huh. We had a fun weekend last week. We got to spend time with um, Jen and Harper Mm -hmm. and John and Jason. Uh So we had a good time. We did. If you're a Patreon member and you haven't already, you need to go check out Harper's review of (laughs) the Edison and... Jock Lindsay's, right? Yeah, and Nomad Lounge. Yeah. It was entertaining, to say the least. Yes. She, she's an entertaining girl. <laughs> she had good analysis. I know. Like, she has no filter. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It was a good weekend. We saw a lot of Christmas decorations. Mm-hmm. We saw the Austins. We did. We saw the Austins. Yes. I saw them for like 30 seconds. You saw them for a while. Yeah. Got, um, I got to... Ride Guardians with them for the first time, mm-hmm. which was fun. We sampled some of the new holiday bar, Jack, Jack Lindsay's holiday bar stuff. Yep. For better or worse. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think that was the only one we tried for the holiday food, right? Um, I f- Yeah, I think so. Yeah. They're one of the few places that actually do holiday food. Right. But then we're headed back over for the start of Festival of the Holidays. Yeah, we'll be there literally tonight. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving night, we're heading over Thanksgiving afternoon, but yep. it'll be night by the time we get there. Right. And uh, spending the weekend. So we're going to do as much of the Epcot Festival of the Holidays on day one as we can. But I was talking with our friend John last night. Uh-huh. And he brought up, he's like, you know, it's going to be crazy because every blogger, vlogger, podcaster, Instagram influencer is going to be there. Right. So. I think we need to find a way to be in like France at 11 o'clock. Okay. Not start at the front. Oh, no, no, we're not. Def- we're not starting at the front. No. Let the crazy start in Mexico and we'll go to the back. Right. We'll go the other way. Yeah. I'm fine with that. Bringing my little Tupperware to put the cookies There's in. There's our theoretical plan. We'll see how it works. Yeah. Anyway, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. So let's start off with news. All right. Showtimes have been released for Christmas week performances of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade and Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks at Magic Kingdom, which begins on Sunday, December 23rd. So that's the same parade and fireworks show that are at Mickey's not-so-scary Christmas party. (laughs) Very merry is Christmas party. (laughs) Yes, it is the same parade and fireworks, which is nice that they... Christmas week that they do that. Yeah, they take it from behind the paywall and let everybody enjoy it that last week. Because the last Christmas party is the 22nd. Correct. So the parade is still going to be 12 and 3. Yep. What time's the 3 o'clock parade? Um, I think it's at 3 o'clock. About, yeah, Yeah. about 3.12. Right. (laughs) So during that week, Festival of Fantasy Parade will not be on. And Happily Ever After will not be shown because they'll have the fireworks at 8 o'clock. Correct. Through the 29th and then the 30th and 31st, they do New Year's. And then I suppose uh, Happily Ever After will be back on the 2nd. On the 1st. Oh, yeah, the 1st. Right. 
Right. And I believe it's fireworks in the sky is what the New Year's Eve one is. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. So I think it's nice. It gives, I, I like that they do that that week of Christmas. I think it's really nice. Yeah, it's cool. Mm-hmm. It's very cool. Because it's very Christmassy that week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a whole different feel that week. It really is. Christmas it may be Christmas here. now, but it's like really Christmas that week before, between even Christmas and New Year's. Right. So, um, Disney Plus has canceled Muppets Mayhem after one season. So that is surprising because the reaction to Disney fans, at least on social media and elsewhere, uh-huh. seems to be that the Muppets are like the greatest thing. Yeah, they're making a huge comeback now. But we forgot to watch this. I know. Because still- there's been so many other things. Yeah. So maybe we weren't the only people that got confused with, you know, which Muppet show is which and didn't watch this one. Yeah, because there were, I didn't, I think I th- I thought this was the one we watched. Yeah, I don't remember what that one's called, but it's not that. Right. <clears throat> so I I think it was a confusion of how many different Muppet shows were out there. I'd like him just to do the Muppet show. Yes. Like the old Muppet show. I love those. With the guest stars. That was so much fun. We watched that one with Vincent Price. It was hilarious. Oh, it really was. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Blizzard Beach Water Park is closed today on Thanksgiving, um, November 23rd, and also on Friday, November 24th, due to lower temperatures here in Florida area. So, like tomorrow, I believe Friday, it's not going to. What? I think it's 67 is the high. Like, I feel like people from Michigan and Ohio are laughing at us. They but. probably are. But we also have cast members that <laughs> that they have to worry well, about. So the Disney crush had our friend Nick on a couple mm. weeks ago. Right. And a couple weeks ago, we had like three days of cool weather. Yes. Same, same weather. Mm-hmm. And he said it was like frigid. At the water park, so. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. So I don't have any interest in getting into water like this. Uh, I'll go no. get in a hot tub, but. Right. I'm that, not walking around a water park wet in this weather. No. And yes, I know, like you said, the people that live up north are going, seriously, it's not even cold. Right. <laughs> I'm freezing this morning. I feel like they don't get 90 degree water in their pools and. Michigan and Ohio and... Probably. In the upper Midwest. All right. I do remember during the summer jumping in a pool and it was cold <laughs> when I lived in Ohio. <laughs> we were in Michigan on July 4th when I was a kid. hmm And I think my aunt had like an above ground pool. It was so cold. I still remember that whole week was just freezing. Like it rained all week and it was just freezing. Mm-hmm. And then we're here and we're, it's sweltering. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Feels like 112. You know? Yes. But the water temperature here is, you know, in the summer, it's in the 80s, low 90s. Uh huh. Still cooler than outside. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Magic Kingdom and Park Hopping Genie Plus sold out for two days this week already. Um, it also Genie Plus reached its highest price yet at thirty five dollars for Magic Kingdom and the multiple parks thirty five bucks. All right. So all that complaining we all did two years ago mm-hmm. about them taking away it clearly has not hurt them. All right. Taking away Fast Pass and charging us for it because now they're at thirty five dollars. We were complaining when it was going to be twenty. All right, and it's selling out. And it's selling out at 35 bucks. Right. 28 at Epcot. That's because there's no rides. <laughs> <laughs> that's a joke. I know. If you know, you know. Hollywood Studios was 32. Animal Kingdom was 25. Right. Hollywood Studios only has nine rides. Yeah. And Animal Kingdom's always the lowest. Yeah. So, huh? I didn't look. I don't know how much... Individual lightning lanes were. 
I don't know. Those days? I don't, yeah. But I was thinking that maybe that's what we do this weekend. Is ILL? If we just have to ride Guardians and, and or Tron, we just pay for it instead of... Instead of trying to do virtual? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll yeah. see how it works. Yeah, we'll see. But I don't think I'm buying Disney Genie Plus. No, I, there's... I I don't really care about riding rides that much this weekend unless the unless Guardians has an overlay. Yeah, and I haven't heard anything about heard. that. You know, it wasn't great last year. No. The one song that nobody knew. Right, because it was a made up song. Yeah. And I haven't heard a word about it. And if it was gonna come, it'd be Friday, right? Yes. So, I don't know. Yeah. I guess they aren't doing it. Festival holidays, it's been very quiet this year about it, leading up to it. Yeah, other it than has. Other than the, fe- you know, the kitchens are open. Here they are. But everything else has been very quiet. So. We've been on Diet Epcot all week and nobody really even talked about it. Yeah. Oh, well, there we go. Um, like we said, Christmas is in full swing around, around Walt Disney World with gingerbread houses, Christmas trees, the resorts, and the parks are all decorated. The final resorts got their trees up. So Epcot didn't have a tree on Saturday, right? It did have a tree on Saturday. Oh, it did? Okay. Yes. I didn't know if they waited until today to do that or, you know. Usually they do put that up early just because they have to block up all of that area to do it. So, right, right. Um, but most of the decorations... Up front, the decorations were there. In I'm sorry, in the World Showcase, the decorations were up. Up front, they weren't. Yeah, right. So, um, because they still had to take down the other booths to do it. Right. So, there we go. Um, Sensi Branding has been added to Dumbo, the Flying Elephant. So, it's now a new sponsor. Yeah. So I have looked at Sensi a couple times. Uh huh. I don't know why. I mean, I know why originally we started getting stuff from Magic Candle because that's like the place. That's the place that you hear a lot on podcasts, right? I guess they advertise with podcasters and YouTube guys and stuff, right? Um. So I've mostly just looked at Sensi for when we were trying to get like wax warmers. Hmm. Or diffusers, because they have some pretty cool, cute ones, you know. Yes, they huh, do. Look at that. A Dumbo the Flying Elephant Scentsy Warmer right, right on their page. And they're they're pricey. I guess, yeah. And I, I think look probably, at what, be, well, the Dumbo one is $125 for the warmer. Yeah, but look at it. Yeah, it's very detailed. I mean, it's way cooler than the one, honestly, than the... Oswald one we got, and that one was 60 bucks when it was out. Yeah. Before it went to the garage sale, but, um, you know, and they've got $40 ones and whatever. Right. But, I mean, look at the, it's like the ride. Yeah. Looks like it even might spin. It looks like it does, like it might spin. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, and it, yeah. I mean, look at Oh, and it lights up. Well, of course it lights up, but. Yeah. So, I mean, the warmers are expensive. The warmers are expensive. Right. Diffusers are expensive. Right. But they have actual, like, it's not haunted and pirate's life and, you know what I mean? Like, right. It's like, the actual name of things. Yeah. Like, like Dumbo. Um, like they had an actual, I think they have an Ursula one, um, you know, things like that. They have Harry Potter, they have Star Wars, they have all kinds of stuff now. I mean, they've got Mickey on here, Season of Magic Scentsy Bar, six fifty for the wax, mm-hmm. which is not, it's actually about the same price as Magic Candle right? for six pieces, but it's got Mickey on it, mm-hmm. Stitch, 100 Acre Wood with Pooh on it. They've got a new one out for Wish already. Um, so they clearly have the partnership deal and the money to do this. Right. So cool. Yeah. I'm hoping that means maybe there'll be a Sensi store in the parks. 
Yeah, because it wouldn't take up much sp- either in the parks or at Disney Springs. It doesn't it, take up much space. And it's always disappointing me a little bit that they have this bows, bowls, Bo- bows, bows, I think. Yeah. Candle place and they don't have Disney scents. Like it's all just, you know, sage and cinnamon and vanilla. All right. Um, you know, that you couldn't go in there and get a Pirates of the Caribbean smell. Right. Yeah. You know? Now, I don't know. I don't see that particular thing, although they do have villains. Mm-hmm. And then they have like Ursula, it, Queen. Yeah. They don't seem to have, at least in the wax melts, like ride and resort smells. But Right. But still. Oh, they have so, a Star Wars one. Yeah, I know. I wonder what smells like Star Wars. The Mandalorian Era of Adventure. <laughs> Star Wars Dark Side of the Force with Darth Vader on the That's rhyme. funny. And there's one more. But and allegedly a third, but I don't see it. Oh. Star Wars Light Side of the Force. Oh, that makes sense. With C-3PO and R2-D2 who don't use Force. That's right. Weird. So then makes me wonder what is it supposed to have the aroma of? Feel the force all around you. It's here, there, in the orange groves, morning mist, and even the driftwood at the ocean's edge. So okay. there you go. There we go. Oh, I have to try some of these. Oh, wait, there's one with a... Oh, they come with different... So they got an X-Wing, Yoda, oh. Chewie and Han. Four different images on the front of the thing. One actual force user, and it's a light side of the force, so... That's kind of cool. Not that I have issues with that, but no. Anyway, very cool. Go yeah. Sensi. There we go. Um, it's going to make me check it out now. Oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Because it's on Dumbo, right? Um, they've made changes to Jolly to the Jollywood Night events. Um, just because there were so many issues on inaugural night, they made some very good changes to it. Added more characters. The wristband distribution was much more organized. Um, then they've also had some additional music as well. So I had I had the ability of going, but I will wait to review it with you when we go. Or when we don't have a topic. Or when we don't have a topic. It was nice. I enjoyed it. I had some I have some thoughts on some things, but it was nice. Yeah. It was cool. definitely it was definitely a nice event. Everyone was in a very good mood. Better than all the reviews from the first night? Yes. Good. Yes. Disney CEO Bob Iger is hosting a virtual town hall with employees on November 28th. Um, Supposedly, he's going to discuss Disney's recent achievements and future building opportunities. Rah, rah. Yeah. I would love to be a fly on that wall. I know. That would be very interesting to hear that. Somebody send me the link. Yeah. (laughs) Be interesting to hear what they have to say. Yes. Yes. So, and there's a tiny bit of DVC news. Yeah. um, Kind of two things. Mm -hmm. Uh, This one doesn't even matter. Member services is closed today. Right. So, whatever. Right. Uh, But there is a holiday magic band slider available free to DVC members. And I guess you just go up to like, you know, the booths. Right. And uh, ask for it. It's cute. It's blue. It's got like this snowflake Mickey thing. Mm -hmm. It says happy holidays, Disney Vacation Club member. Yeah, it's a nice bright color. So it's using the nice bright blue again. And I'm hoping it fits better on the new magic bands because mine keep falling off. Yes. Like I've lost one or two. Yes, you have. So, because they just kind of fall off. They don't, I don't know. It's like they're too small, which is why they fall off, because they won't go far enough on to stay on. Right. So, hopefully the new ones will uh, be a better size. It looks like it is. I mean, it's way up the band on the picture Yeah, that looks like it's way high up on the band, yeah. So, we'll try to get our, we'll go get ours this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, cool. So, yippee. So... We recorded a whole episode talking about Christmas movies because that's what we were going to do this week. Mm-hmm. It was a good episode, too. 
Zoom never gave me the episode. It's gone. It's two kilobytes, which is less than one second. Yeah. Of silence. <laughs> of silence. So we're going to try that again next week, which is fine. Mm-hmm. But this week, and fortunately, we uh, went over to Disney for the weekend. We did. Stayed at the Residence Inn again. Yes, we did. I'm really liking that. I, I really like it for being off property. All right. So first of all, you don't have to go on 192. You don't have to fight all that traffic. Like exactly. You come out, you can make a left turn, not at a traffic light. Uh-huh. And go to Disney. And you're literally around the corner from Coronado Springs. And Anima Kingdom, basically. Yeah. Like on the same, I mean. In the same area. Coronado Springs is on the corner of Western Way and whatever it is. Buena uh, Vista. Buena or Vista. Buena Vista or whatever. Right. Buena Vista Drive, I think. And it's on Western Way. Right. So it's right there. And mm-hmm. there is not right now a lot of traffic there. Mm-hmm. There are restaurants all around it. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen, and I looked the other day because we were hungry. Yeah. Like there's not like an Outback or an Applebee's or it's a lot of um, Firehouse Subs and Skyline Chili and. Right. Pieology. What's pieology? It's got to be a pie shop, right? I guess. I know. I'm very intrigued. We need to stop by there. (laughs) Yeah. They also have um, some other little shops in there that I think are just not finished open. little. Oh, my gosh. So there's a Target, like, right by. So so when you're coming on Western Way, you can make this first left past the Target there, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Or first right. And that's Hartzog. Yeah. And that road kind of loops around, and there's a bunch of hotels on there. There's the... Town place in Spring Hill, where I think it's Spring Hill, mm-hmm. whatever yeah, Spring it Hill is, um, where Tony Ann and Veronica stayed last week or two weeks ago, whatever yeah, it was. And we stayed at the Town Suites. So, yeah. Yeah, we did that once. Then there's the couple of Hilton properties, and mm-hmm. then there's two more Marriott properties, Fairfield and Residence Inn. Right. Um, so there's like a CVS, I think, on uh, well, the corner, a, or maybe yeah, it's, it's a Walgreens. Walgreens. Yeah. And, and there's a Target. And so I was really excited because I need to go find something. Right. It's the cast, kind of the cast member Target because there's cast member apartments like right there. Yes. And uh, <laughs> and you would also think like that Target would have like a Disney store deal yeah. in it, right? It, it, and it kind of does. So it's basically the size of like a Dollar General? Yeah, pretty much. It was, okay, so I walked in. First thing I noticed on the right-hand side, there's a separate entrance in the, do- in the store for wine and liquor. Okay, which is fine. Then you walk in Target. I'm like, where is everything? On the right side is groceries. Around the back is home essentials. To the left is all the other stuff you need. And then right in the middle is you know, socks, underwear, yeah. some kids' clothes, like minimal adult clothes, some exercise clothes, and then a big section of pre-done Disney shirts. Yeah. And I'm like, where's, where's the rest of the store? <laughs> That's funny. I've never seen a small Target. I never have. It really freaked me out. I'm going to have to go in there this weekend just to see how small it really is. Yeah. yeah and you're. It's going to be one of those you're going to walk in and you're like, because when you walk in, it looks like a regular Target, but then when you look to go to the back, even look farther back, you're like, wait, wait, that's yeah. like super small. It just ends. That's funny. <laughs> so we stayed at Residence Inn. Yes. It was very nice again. Again, yes. So we got the King Suite. Mm-hmm. The bed is kind of like off in its own little cubby. Yeah, it's kind of own nook, yeah. But it's got a big desk, a big sofa. Uh-huh. A uh, table against the wall with like two bar stools mm-hmm. that are actually comfortable. Yeah. Then the kitchen. And then it's got the kitchen with that like five foot tall refrigerator. So not a little mini fridge mm-hmm. and a freezer. Yep. Two burners, dishwasher. It's got plates and forks and knives yeah, and all real, that. Real plates, real forks. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not DVC studio. Yeah. Paper plates and cups. and. I wish they would just fix that. You got to put a dishwasher in then, and they're not going to do that. 
Oh, that's true. So it's a very nice hotel, and we we paid. I don't know what we paid this time. Probably a hundred and thirty bucks again. Yeah, a night for it. So this time of year, um, that's pretty good. Mm-hmm. And it it's a very new hotel. It's very new. It's the newest on that loop. Yeah, we are going to try the uh, Fairfield Inn tonight. Now, Tony Ann has said a couple times that she hasn't heard good things about it. So, or maybe mixed things about it. Right. So we're going to try it. Yes. The description of our room is that it's a suite. Yes. It says it has a pull-out sofa. Yes. So maybe that's what they call a suite. But Right. We're going to try it because uh, we decided to add tonight kind of late. Yeah. And um, it's what was available. Right. I, you, we would have liked to stay at residence. They could have probably just yeah, moved together. Yeah, I hate moving in the middle of a stay, but... That's what we're going to do. Yeah. So it'll be fine. It's just for one night. And we only have to go 100 feet to the other one. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, they almost almost share a parking lot. Right. So that's where we're going. Yeah. But Friday we got over there. Mm-hmm. And we wanted to see some Christmas decorations. Mm-hmm. So we said, oh, let's go to Wilderness Lodge. Yeah. And as we were pulling in. Um, in the car, we got on the walk-up list for Geyser Point. Yeah. And by the time we got parked and into the lobby, we were called, so we kind of had to hustle. Right. But it worked. It got us into the resort. Yeah. Unfortunately, the tree was not up. No. There were some decorations, but not the tree. Right. I'm still trying to figure out what that area was. It's almost like it's a, like they're going to set up a little booth to give out candy, you know, gingerbread or something, but I, I don't know. It was yeah, I don't just, know. Yeah. I guess we'll have to go back and see this weekend. But we went to Geyser Point and tried a couple of the new items. Mm-hmm. So you got a new beverage. Yes. It, it was, was the... Pineapple Mule. Pineapple Mule. That's mm-hmm. the name. Yep. It's Uncle Nearest 1884 Small Batch Whiskey, Hella Cocktail Company, Ginger Bitters, Pineapple Juice, Ginger Beer, and Mint, $17. Yes, it, it was, was delicious. It was, it was very good. It was refreshing. It didn't have that heavy taste to it that you normally get with ginger beer. Yeah, it was not wasn't heavy at all. I, I enjoyed it. It didn't come in a copper cup. It was in a no. like a pint glass, I guess. Yeah, kind of a glass. little more fluted top, but yeah, yeah. And uh, it was good. Mm-hmm. We ate. We got the macaroni and quote unquote cheese. <laughs> Bites, plant based, <laughs> cheesy bites, tomato and peppers. So it's fried macaroni and cheese, right? Yes. Now the description didn't exactly match what I thought we were going to get. No. I thought it was going to have macaroni and cheese with tomatoes and peppers in it. Right. All deep fried. Right. It, it was macaroni and cheese bites on like a salsa yeah basically <laughs> yeah, gallo, you gallo, yeah a little more marinara tasting than salsa usually is but that's what it was yeah 10 bucks there were three of them and they were good size yeah they were good size more than a bite oh yeah each so they were pretty good uh-huh we also got the charcuterie flatbread right and the charcuterie flatbread was salami brisket chorizo bacon and smoked gouda beer cheese flatbread um <laughs> They, now, when you think about charcuterie, it's meat and cheese, right? Right. It was covered in arugula. <laughs> I mean, covered. It was delicious. It yeah. was really good if you picked the arugula off. Yeah. And they cut it interesting, too. They did. Yeah, they didn't cut it, like, down the middle and then, you know, one, two, three, four, like right. they usually do. They cut it at, they, I, they cut it diagonally, so you ended up with, like, four or five Pizza slices. Right. It looked like pizza slices, which was, I think, a great way to do it because you could get more on it. Yeah, it was cool. You know, I, I liked the way they cut it. I did too. It was it was cool. Yeah, it, it was, was good. Unique. It was and it was it was aesthetically pleasing to look at too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. they both those items were all three of those items were really good. Yes. So I was happy with that. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't, you know, ten bucks for the mac and cheese, seventeen for the flatbread, seventeen for your drink. Right. 
I mean, it wasn't a hugely expensive no. time over there. It was good. Well, and we, you know, and we were satisfied too. It's not like we, yeah. you know, ate too much or didn't eat enough. Yeah. So. I wanted to get the uh, Thai chili wings, but. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe next time. Um, yeah. We don't have a whole lot of plans of where we're going to eat this weekend. We have zero plans for any of this this weekend, except for maybe Friday. And that's just, we're going to be at Epcot for as long as we can stand it. Right. So, that was the first thing we did. Mm -hmm. Not much in the way of decorations there. No. So, I guess we left from there and went to... Yeah, we picked up Jen and Harper. Right. And... uh, At um, Coronado. Coronado. Mm -hmm. And went to Animal Kingdom. Right. And we got pictures out front with the big tree. Mm -hmm. And they have one of those like uh, 3D pop-up stand things that they usually have out front with Kevin on it, but now it's a Christmas scene. Right. One thing that was nice with the tree outside, there was three photo photo pass photographers Mm -hmm. to do on three different sides so the line didn't get ridiculous. And there was almost no line. Right. I mean, like one person getting their picture taken and maybe two groups waiting at all three stations. Mm-hmm. It was it was very smooth in and out. Very much the pictures so. taken. Yes. We got to see the uh Mary Menagerie. I mean, it was right when we got in and they were there. It was fantastic. They were just all over. Because that was one of the things we really wanted to see, us and Jen. It was so cute watching all the kids, including Harper, go up and pet the dog. I know. Like it was a real dog. Like all of them were petting it like it was a real dog. Yeah, there uh, the the guy's hand is inside his back. Right. Like it's clearly not a dog. But, <laughs> but everybody the, was petting him like he was a real dog. It the was puppeteers so are amazing because they, they make are. you feel like it's really an animal. They are really good. If you haven't seen them, um, you know you got a month. Yeah, but they were the. I mean, they're very good at what they do. Yeah, all of them, from the giant bear down to the guys running around with the birds. I know. It's, you know. And if they're having, like I saw one when we were doing it, they're having the bird like hover over somebody's head and it's still moving and they're going, oh, you know, and they're even making noises with it. It was just, and then you had the drum, what was it, the metal drum, the guy playing Oh, yeah, that. they had a guy playing steel drums. Yeah. And- I couldn't remember what it was called. Yeah. <laughs> steel drum. But- yeah. But he, I mean, that had music going. They were, and they were kept moving around so people didn't congregate too much, which was good. I like Animal Kingdom because the decorations, unless you stop and look, you don't see them. Right. You know, like they're all across the top of the building, but it's not real in your face. Mm-hmm. But the more you stop and look, the more you're like, man, that's cool. Right. That's and cool. It's easier to see all of that when it's overcast like it was because it was drizzly that day. Yeah, they had the lights flickering already Mm -hmm. in the middle of the afternoon. Yeah. Because we got over there, I mean, middle of the afternoon. It was probably one o'clock. It wasn't wasn't late. Right. So So it was very cool. Mm -hmm. We went to No Man Lounge. Yep. Um, It it was No Man Lounge. Yeah. You know, same menu. The chicken wings, I have a real problem with. Yes. The wings are delicious, but they're small. Mm-hmm. And it's been 12 bucks for five, which just kills me, right? Yep. Especially when I can get six for like six ninety nine or seven ninety nine at Epcot at the Brewing House. Right. Um, they are now $16 for five wings. It went up to 16 That's crazy. 16 So, um, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how long those can last. That's a lot of money for five wings. That's yeah. three dollars a wing. Uh huh. For small wings, yes. They, they got to Yeah, that's not going to last long. No. They're going to be sitting on a lot of chicken wings. Yep. But they're real good. Mm-hmm. But I this time I was like, nope, can't, nope, not for sixteen bucks, not for three dollars a wing. I'm still still in my head that I can go places for twenty five cent wing night. Right. Which I know you can't, but right, but still, most you have places like it's Dollar Wing, I think. Yeah, that's kind of the sale now. Yeah, Wings are so expensive, but they're not that expensive. Not that expensive, no. So um, we saw and they're small. Yeah, like the ones at the Brewing House were not small. The ones at Rick's Sports Bar aren't small. These are small wings. Yeah. So skip that. Yeah, 
Um, we saw the flotillas, two different flotillas. And like you said, you didn't even know that Pocahontas had a jacket. I didn't. She had on a winter <laughs> jacket. It was kind of funny. It was chilly because it was a little chilly. Yeah, it was. Well, because it was rainy. Right. But yeah, I didn't realize that <laughs> she had a winter outfit like the rest of them. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. We saw Santa go by. I think twice. Yeah. But... And the funny part is, is people that are in Nomad, they're like, oh my gosh, they go so fast. <laughs> they do. They fly through there compared to a parade, mm-hmm. which obviously is going through a crowd of people and you got to make sure you're not right. going to run over a kid that runs out. Right. But they fly down that river. Now there's one about every 15 minutes. Well, there's when one they're coming. running, there's one about every five minutes. Yeah. You know, they, they bring them all out one after another pretty quickly. Mm-hmm. And then it takes a while for them to start again. Right. But yeah, when you when they start coming, they come fast. Yes, they do. So you had, you know, Scrooge McDuck and whatever his name is that I can never remember his name. Yeah. The pilot dude. <laughs> um. Pocahontas and Miko. Yeah, and can't remember who else. Pumba and Timba. Tim Timon? Timon. Timon. I didn't see that one, but I saw Timon. I can't remember who else was on it with him. Generally, generally Pumbas with him, but yeah, yeah. And then Santa. Yep. Probably another one, but those were the ones I remember seeing. I didn't see the drummers. But maybe because it was raining and they didn't want all oh, those electric true. instruments out on a boat. Yeah, so when the Austin showed up, Micah was very intrigued. He could put his head almost through the thing to watch the flotilla. Mm-hmm. Flotillas. <laughs> Can he get it back out? Yeah. So. We left there, went to Disney Springs. Correct. Went to the Edison. Mm-hmm. That was fun. Yeah, and they've changed the rules at the Edison now. Yes, because they do not have the entertainment like they used to. Mm -hmm. Uh, It is no longer 21 and over. After 9 o'clock. Yeah. Now, we weren't there at 9, but we went to the Edison first so that if we got held up. Right. They weren't going to throw her out, Harper out. Right. Um, And then they told us they don't do that anymore since they don't have the dancers and Mm -hmm. that kind of stuff going on. Right. Um, The band still played three songs and then disappeared. And yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, it was good. He made, Harper was having fun. So she, everywhere we went, she told him it was dealer's choice. Just <laughs> make me a drink. And this guy was all in, man. Yeah. He kept making her different stuff. And She had was, two different drinks. Yeah, there was one where he like lit the fire and then dropped cinnamon through it into the glass. Like it was cool. He did mm-hmm. some cool stuff for her. So he did. Very fun time. Yeah, he played into that one. So yeah, we were there pretty early. Uh-huh. Um, you know, still daylight out when we got there. And uh you know, so it had to be pretty early because yeah. it's dark at 5 30 now. Right. Um, so it wasn't real busy. We got a seat right at the bar and mm-hmm. had a good time. We did. From there we went to Jock Lindsay's. Holiday bar. Yeah. And got right in, found a table for, there were five of us, found a table for five people uh-huh. out on the patio. Yep. We would have preferred to be inside, but that's, it's small inside. It's very small. Like, there's not a lot of room in there. No. Um, it was not so much fun. It, it was not what we would call the best experience. So to start with, you guys got, the three of you got a drink. Yes. The holiday cherry holiday cherry cocktail. Okay. That's what it was. The holiday cherry cocktail. Mm-hmm. Supposed to be Stoli vanilla vodka, hearing cherry liqueur, simple syrup, and cranberry juice with edible glitter and garnished with a cherry. Right. So you said there wasn't any glitter in it. No. I couldn't tell from where I was sitting across the table. $14 a drink. Mm-hmm. Uh, You guys all got it and sent it back because it didn't taste anything like that description. No. It tasted like there was something spiced in it, possibly. It had some some ingredient in there. We're like, no. (laughs) And the second one wasn't great. 
No. It Which be- is weird because they're usually really good with special event cocktails. Yeah. It just didn't have any flavor. I got the hot chocolate grail flight for $26. Um, yeah. Spiced caramel with Captain Morgan original spiced rum. Cookies and cream with white chocolate and stoli vanilla vodka. And a peppermint with Bailey's Irish cream and Bowles creme de menthe white liqueur. I, I'm still not convinced that it was actually spiked. Like there was no flavor of anything but hot chocolate in at least two of them. Right. The cookies and cream was definitely the best of the three. Mm-hmm. They were all good hot chocolate. But like if you go to the America Pavilion in the next month during mm-hmm. the festival of holidays and they have that hot chocolate flight, mm-hmm. if you get the spiked one, you can almost see the layer in it where the right. <laughs> it's almost watery because of the yeah spiked. Right. Um, There was no taste of any kind of alcohol in any of these. Yeah. And I remember having it last year and you could definitely taste the alcohol in it. Yeah. It it was, um, the hot chocolate was good. Mm -hmm. Like if you can get it regular, I would highly recommend. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel like it was worth 26 bucks for three little, the equivalent of one decent sized hot chocolate basically. Right. Maybe one and a half. We had some food. Jason got the Jock's Famous Pigs in a Blanket. Um, they were fine. They tasted like pigs in a blanket. Yeah. They were what you'd expect. Yeah, right. Came with a cranberry mustard sauce that was good. Yeah, we kind of It was liked- actually better on the next thing we got. So those were 12 bucks. Right. We got the Oham and Cheese Trees, $15, yeah. which was a puff pastry, pit ham, cheddar, garlic herb butter, and sugar plum jam. Harper's description was that it was basically just bread. Yeah. There was, um, yeah, there was no flavor of anything else in there other not, than the pastry. There was like the hint of ham and cheese, but yeah. it, it, um, it did, I don't know. It did not and the cranberry like mustard sauce was better on that than the sugar plum jam also. Right. So it was not what we expected. No. Now, my my go to at Jock Lindsay's is deviled eggs. Right. Like I just You just get them all the time. Right. Because they're good. Um I got the naughty. They have naughty or nice deviled eggs. Comes on that airplane thing. Mm-hmm. The nice has crispy ham, sweet honey glazed, or spicy honey glazed for the naughty. Right. It wasn't really ham. I mean, maybe it was, but it it looked- tasted and felt more like Pork belly, which is awesome. Right. By the way. Um, but the the pork was good. Okay. What the about eggs this? had no flavor. What? Which I don't understand. The whole thing had no flavor. I just don't get that. They have a post flight milk, quote unquote, and cookies with coquito. Uh, you can get that with just milk, which is what Harper did. Right. It's supposed to come with a bourbon eggnog, um, or I'm sorry, a bourbon eggnog snowflake cookie, gingerbread reindeer cookie filled with dolce de leche, chocolate peppermint Christmas tree cookie, and coquito, which is delicious, but they don't make it particularly well. Right. But growing up and living in Tampa, I've had a lot of coquito made in people's kitchens. Right. That's awesome. So, you know, you're not going to get that at a restaurant, not a, unless it's a Cuban restaurant. Right. Or a Puerto Rican restaurant. So, um, I, the- I tried the Chris, the chocolate peppermint Christmas tree cookie. It was super dry, like powdery dry. Yeah. So they um, made it, they made a kid version for her. Yeah. And then the other ones, um. She just said there, like, wasn't anything there, I think, was her opinion. Yeah. Like, they didn't have a lot of flavor. Nothing that we had had a lot of flavor. Yeah. It was really odd. I don't know what's going on at Jock's. I mean. The service wasn't great, but they were understaffed outside. They only had two people for the entire patio. Right. And um, it was, you know, busy. It was Disney Springs on Friday night. It was busy. Yeah. 
which should know that Disney Springs on Friday night is busy and you just put up your Christmas decorations. Right. So, I don't know. The service, I'm willing to let them go because sometimes that just happens. You can be there at the wrong time and it's... Right. And it it wasn't bad service. It just wasn't good. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I mean, again, it was the same person we had two weeks ago. It, it was actually okay until it came time to pay, and then she was gone. Right. But, but that's the same thing that happened last night. Exactly. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't love it. No. I, I will give it one more chance. Mm-hmm. Mostly because um, nothing there is super expensive. Like, if this was a restaurant and it was going to cost me $37 for a chicken dinner. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't go back for a while. Right. Now, being able to go in there and get an appetizer for 12 bucks or 15 bucks and mm-hmm. all that. Yep. I I will give it another chance and see if it gets better, but it it was not great. Like I'm not running over there. No. Which is what we did on Friday. We yeah. ran over there. Well, because that was Because it was holiday bar. Right. So, um yeah, I don't know. Proceed with caution on that one and I think Tony Ann gave some advice the other day, which was when you go to Jock's, just get the drink that you drink, you know, your gin and tonic or whatever. Right. I think that's probably a good idea. But like the Halloween ones were great. The Halloween drinks, they were great. So I don't, that's the part I don't get. The things they made for the Indiana Jones Mm -hmm. movie debut. Right. Were awesome. Right. Uh, Drinks and drinks and appetizers. They are stumbling here at Christmas. Yeah, which is weird because last Christmas they did fine. Saturday, uh, you went to Epcot. I just hung out at the hotel. Right. So. And I got to ride Guardians with Dan, um, Noah, and... Oh, wait, what was it? Dan, Simon, Abby, and Noah. Right. It's their, all of their first time riding guardians yeah it's so hard to believe i thought they'd been here Uh uh-uh to um and i mean i guess you know potentially two of them probably couldn't ride it until this time well simon definitely abby probably was tall enough yeah and simon if you see the picture simon is not a fan (laughs) he's looking at dan what the heck did you put me on (laughs) yeah right but, Ab- but how did he feel about it when he got off? No, he hated it. He goes, yeah. I did it. I'm not doing it again. Wow. Now, okay. probably in another year, he'll change his mind. Because Harper almost got sick the first time. Yes. And now she says that she doesn't love it, but she likes it. She had her hands up screaming. Yeah. She, That's she what she it. told me was, it's still not my favorite, but I like it. Yeah. I think she also likes who she goes with on it too. That could be. So, um, and then we had Jason and John were in our car and me and Harper. So I still haven't gotten our picture. So I'm going to have to go talk to photo people, um, this weekend. Um, but they, Abby and Noah loved it. Absolutely loved it. That's awesome. They came off, they go, oh, can we do this again next time we come to Epcot? They were thrilled. And then Holly, I believe went later because she had Micah. Yeah, right. Rider swap or whatever. Right. Whether it was official or not. Yeah. Rider swap. But Dan definitely loved it. So after you guys were done doing Epcot, Mm -hmm. I met you. Actually, you came and picked me up at the hotel. Right. And we went to the Yacht Club. Right. To see the gingerbread houses. and Yeah. Do the Crescent Lake uh, swing. Right. Do there. Yacht Club is really cool. Mm Mm-hmm. They had like the train, I don't know if, I guess the houses maybe around it were gingerbread. Yeah. But they had the train running. They had mm-hmm. the lighthouse, which was very cool. Lighthouse was very cool. Um, the and the tree was very cool. Right. It's just, it's very dark in that lobby. It, it is by design because it's always very dark in there, but it was more noticeable when you filled it up with stuff, even mm-hmm. though the stuff was lit. Right. It was weird. It was just hard to... See it. Yeah, so clearly. I'd like to go when the sun's up and it's brighter in there to look at the train 
yeah. set up because it was very cool and very detailed. There were little buildings all over that mountain. Right. They actually had like gondolas going. Yeah. Um, they had a guy like um, shoveling his snow. It was just really cute. Like Skyliner gondolas. Yeah. Yeah, it was very, very pretty. Mm-hmm. And the lighthouse was really cool. Then, of course, we went over. We started over at a beach club. We stopped at the cruise club. Yes. Actually, we did that first. We did that first. Went to the cruise club, we which is the- cruise club first, and then we went out and looked at the decorations. Right, because the lounge at, it's the lounge next to Yachtsman at Yacht Club. Yeah. The cruise club was super cool. Yeah. I had ordered um, mobile pickup for a Cuban sandwich from a Alien Compass marketplace. Right. Um, and of course, while we were sitting in there, it- Came up and they served food at the cruise club. Right. But he was like, I don't care. As long as you don't bring like McDonald's in here, you know. Yeah. Whatever. If you guys, I'm like, I'm not even going to eat it now. I got it for later, but. Yeah. Good to know. But it was a very chill lounge. There was only like maybe three tables. Yeah. It wasn't busy. Again, it was, you know, four o'clock or whatever it was. Right. Um, they, they did have a menu. It is not the full menu from Yachtsman. Right. But like the French onion soup wasn't on their menu. And he was like, they're making it, ex- as long as they're making it next door, I can get it for you. Right. Like, Which I was thrilled because it was absolutely delicious. It looked good. Um, and the guy was just, he was super friendly, attentive, mm-hmm. took good care of us. Yeah. It, it was a very nice place to hang out. Yes. Very in comfortable chairs. Yeah. Not the biggest place. I think we figured out it serves... It would hold, like, including 10 people at the bar, like 40 people, 50 right. people maybe. Yeah, it's pretty small, but it was it was nice. The atmosphere was nice. Yeah. We had a little two-person, well, three-person sofa mm-hmm. uh, because Harper. Yeah. You could fit a third person on there. And um, it was a really nice little place to hang out mm-hmm. and just eat a little snack and have a drink. And then we went to Beach Club. Right. And that was DuckTales, right? Yeah, the carousel at Beach Club. Yeah. DuckTales. DuckTales. And I only found 19 of the 22 (laughs) Mickey heads. We're going to have to go back because I got to find them. The problem with that thing spinning around. Yeah. Is that, I know this happens to me. They're like, okay, I see five on that horse. And then there's three. And there's six on this one. And I see two on this one. And... Oh man, did I count the ones on this? You know. <laughs> yeah, I I go I do it. I try to be very strategic the way I, you know, try to get all of them. I always look for one horse and try to find everything on that one. Then I go to the next one. So I, I have a feeling there was there was one or two on the bottom, very bottom of it. I just couldn't find it. The one thing about that carousel is, I think if you watch Ducktales, which I never have, mm-hmm. that you appreciate it more, right? Because, um, like, I'm going to get laughed at for this, but there was literally like a duck head that was a globe. And I don't understand what that means because I don't watch DuckTales. Right. But it was very cool, very detailed. Mm -hmm. I love the carousel every year. Yeah. Um, But I'm sure I would have a greater appreciation for it if I was a DuckTale fan. Probably. Which Me most as well. people are. Right. So. And I, I I don't remember watching it either. So mm-hmm. It was between our time. Right. Um, and then we left there, and their tree was very pretty too. Yeah. Um, we we left, went to the boardwalk. Went to the boardwalk. And went to Abracadabra. Yes. That was weird. Yes. I like Abracadabra. Yes, um, I, I did not particularly enjoy this time. No, like you used to be able to go in there and get some food. Mm-hmm. And we did, but they had like three menu items again. Right. I was left with the impression from the waiter, there was a little bit of a language barrier, a little more than you're used to at Disney. Mm-hmm. But I was left with the impression that if we had been there another time, Maybe we could have gotten stuff from Trattoria, like a pepperoni pizza. Mm-hmm. But we couldn't. They had like one flatbed, some fries, and something else. Yeah, I don't know what the other thing was, yeah. So one of the things that I've been talking about with our friend John 
mm-hmm. is consistency. Correct. When you charge as much for food at Disney as they do, for whatever reason, you know, rightly, it, yeah. most of the time. Right. Um, but I want to make sure that if I find something I like and the next time I go back, it's going what to I like. Like, my parents for 20 years would leave Tampa headed to Gatlinburg for the summer, and they would stop at Hooters in Valdosta, Georgia, because mm-hmm. they get there about 11, 1130, and you know what Hooters tastes like every Hooters you go to. Right. You know what Outback tastes like every Outback you go to. Whether you like it or not, that's a different story. I mean, it's not none of it's great food, but you know what it's going to be. It's consistent. We got two orders of French fries. And they came out at the same time. That came out together that looked and tasted completely different. Mm-hmm. And they aren't cheap. No. You know, it's it's a lot of fries. It was a big bowl, and, and we probably could have been okay with one bowl for the six of us, but right. um, consistency was not. Yeah. You know, I've always heard the expression, consistency is the hobgoblin of weak minds. Um, it's also important in food. Yes. <laughs> and uh, this was not. Not consistent. I mean, even at the same table, not consistent, mm-hmm. which is odd, especially knowing it comes from Trattoria. Right. Like it wasn't It wasn't some dude in the back with a fryer. Right. It, it, it's a chef at a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't get it. It was, it was good. They were good. Both yeah. sets, I guess, were good. Right. Um, but they weren't the same, which was weird. Right. So it was fine. Yeah. Um, you know, they just, there was no flexibility. Here's what we have and this is what you get. Yeah. It was a little bit weird, especially having just left a place that was like, I can get that for you. Yeah. You know, and you that, want something not on the menu? They're making it next door. It, Hang on. And in my mind is, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just, I, they always do this. Now suddenly they don't. Or they've done it in the past numerous times, not like a one-off, and now suddenly they don't. Right. Um, but we hung out there for, I don't know, not an hour. Yeah. And then we went and looked at the decorations at Boardwalk. Mm-hmm. We watched- uh, The very end. Some of the entertainment, the jump rope people, people were awesome. They really were. Like, I know it's something that like, you know, if I had just kept at it since kindergarten- yeah. When I was in PE, I could probably be one of those guys. Maybe not now, but. Yeah. But no, know. they were good. They were entertaining. They, you know. Yeah, they was, were. Mm-hmm. And uh, did some cool tricks. Yeah. So it was neat. Yeah. And I, I like the fact that they have all that back street mm-hmm. at Boardwalk that I miss the citizens of Hollywood. Yeah. You know, doing their little shows around. I, mm-hmm. It was such a cool touch. Yes. And, uh. You know, I say it a lot ironically, but thanks, Chapik. Yeah. Because he got rid of those. Mm-hmm. Because the cast members are their entertainment. But you need that mm-hmm. entertainment. It First of all, it helps with crowds. But secondly, it's just one of the, you know, it's part of the magic. Right. So I'm glad it's at Boardwalk because it's very cool. They yes. had a magician out there. They had some guys on a teeter-totter yeah. doing tricks. They had the jump rope people. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And and stuff going on constantly. So like the jump rope people were doing their show every hour, like seven thirty eight, thirty nine thirty, mm-hmm. and it was a half hour show. So God bless them for that because yeah. there wasn't much rest time. Um, but when they would, as soon as they would, it was like at Bush Gardens that day. As soon as the one group finished, somebody else a hundred feet away was starting their show. Right. So there was something going on the whole time and close together. You didn't have to walk the whole boardwalk to see things. No, you didn't. So that was cool. Uh, we went in and looked at the gingerbread house. Gingerbread house, and then we left. Yeah, gingerbread houses. All of them are very cool. Right. So now we have to go get the ones we haven't seen. Yeah, but I'm so impressed with how they can do that. Yeah, and remember we went to uh, Polynesian. Polynesian has their Christmas tree up and yep. some decorations. That's it. Yeah. Um, and we then, had breakfast at Kona. Mm-hmm. Um, it was good. We had the, uh, I had the ham and cheese omelet. It was very good. Yeah, it was good. 
And they even put mushrooms and onions in it too, I think. Yeah, I'm sure there was an upcharge for that, but... I No, there wasn't. Oh, well then, cool. So it was more like a Western omelet than yeah. a ham and cheese. Right. It was good. It was, I mean, it was an omelet, mm-hmm. but it was very good. It was fluffy and tasty. And mm-hmm. So I liked it. Yep. Haven't been to Kona in like a year and a half. Right. And then we went to Grand Flow. Yeah. Look at the gingerbread house. And then while we're there, they're in the middle of pulling out the furniture to be able to set up the tree. Yeah, they were taking all the flowers off that front mm-hmm. thing and moving chairs. And so the tree must be up by now. Yeah, it was It was put up that night. Because this was Sunday morning mm-hmm. that we did that. Yeah. And uh, from there we left. Mm-hmm. We went home. That was our weekend. Yeah. So overall it was great. Mm-hmm. I love Christmas at Disney. I know. So now we have to go hit the ones we didn't see that weren't up yet. Yeah. Yeah, which isn't a lot. Right. Wilderness Lodge and Animal Kingdom. I want to see the giraffe and the zebra. Yes, I do too. So that's this weekend. Yep. Um, Hope everybody had at this point, I guess, (laughs) a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for for listening again. And uh, Instagram, MakeyFile underscore podcast. Facebook group is... Uh, Mickey File Improvement District. Our email address is Mickey File Podcast at gmail.com. Goodbye. Thank you. Good night. Bye.